Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a mirror reflection effect that will give your final videos a kaleidoscope type of feel. So I have my clip on the timeline and in order to get to this effect you want to head over to the effects panel and open up the video effects folder. Here you should find a distort folder and there's where you'll find the mirror effect. Now you could just click and drag this directly onto the clip However, I'm going to work with adjustment layers because they are a bit more flexible. So click on your project menu and then go to file new adjustment layer to create one. And then you can click on that newly created adjustment layer and drag it over your timeline. Adding the effect to an adjustment layer rather than right on top of the clip just gives you a little bit more flexibility if you want to add it over multiple effects and might save you time in the long run. So I'm going to grab my mirror effect and drag it directly onto that adjustment layer clip and now I can begin adjusting the effect parameters. So in here you see reflection center and reflection angle and at zero you can't see what's going on but if I click and drag it a little bit you see it brings in a line of reflection on whatever degree of angles you want it. So remember your right angle so 45 degrees will give you a perfect 45 degree angle. Then you got your 90 degrees, which is a straight line through the middle. And just add by 45 degrees every time, so 135, 180, if you want perfect angles. However, you don't have to do uh, perfect angles. You can have weird offset angles that don't exactly go all the way through if they cut your video in a more interesting way than having a perfect angle does. But in this case, I'll just do a, a 90 degree split across the horizon there. And this is what that would look like. So when the video is moving, one, when the objects in the video are moving, it creates a cool effect. So this is a moving car. And two, when the camera person pans the camera angle around, that creates another element of motion for things to reflect across. So you can create some pretty cool effects. Now that's just the reflection angle. You also have the reflection center. So let's say I wanted to bring this down so it meets more at the street level. So the first one here is the X, the horizontal left and right, and the second one is the Y. If it's at 90 degrees, the X, you won't be able to see what's going on, but see if I flip it like this and move the X, you can see how it's moving left and right a bit. But at 90 degrees, I can lower the Y center, so bring it down more towards the street level to create an interesting illusion there. And you can see it's cool, it almost looks like we're flying rather than driving. Some other really cool uses for this are, you know, nighttime uh, skylines with lots of lights and a dark sky and all the lights will be blurring together. But keep in mind that you don't have to only do one mirror. You could actually stack multiple mirrors on top of each other. So if I click and drag the effect on the adjustment layer again, I'll I have the ability to create another mirror or line of reflection so I can take everything that I've reflected so far and then reflect another end of it. Um, just make sure whatever angles and centers you're working with, I would try to avoid those black lines. That's when the video clip doesn't meet the, the end of the frame. And you can just play around with the reflection center to make sure that your line of reflection doesn't really cause black lines if you don't want them there. So you could stack the effect. You could do all types of crazy stuff. I guess if you wanted to make like four different mirrors, then you could really create a kaleidoscope type of effect. But there's lots of different ways that you could use and combine this mirror distortion with other effects to create a cool final visual. Here's another quick example I did where the camera is stationary, more like if you had it on a tripod, and just objects in the video are moving, like the raindrops. So that's how to use the mirror reflection tool. It's a very cool tool to get creative with definitely create some cool visuals by combining it with other things. If you guys like this video, definitely leave a like on it below and check out my channel in the playlist for more Premiere Pro tutorials and subscribe to stay tuned for all types of new creative videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.